are listening to the Soul Ascension Show with Angel Healing Founder Callista. Welcome into our sacred space where you can truly be your radiant self. It's time to get inspired, to get creative, to be who you came here to be. Rise and shine. All is here for you. Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to the Soul Ascension Show with me, your host, Callista. Tonight we are opening the doors to a very special realm, a realm that resides the unicorns, the Pegasians, and the beautiful Ascended Masters. And this is a very sacred hour, I feel. We've had a lot of interest in this show and a lot of questions have came forward um, as to who the unicorns are and how they can best serve your soul's purpose, your unique purpose here on Earth. So over the hour, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about how I came to work with them or really play with them along my path and how you can best connect with them to best serve your own. We will be doing a special soul immersion journey to attune you to the unicorns and this is something I'm really excited about Um, and they are as well. They're ever present right now here with me and very much uh, there with you and I'm just going to do an invocation just to bring in consciously, to bring in their awareness with each of us tonight before we go into chatting about who they are and so forth just to really bring in their consciousness to be with you it's going to be a very energetic very practical show I'm feeling as ever I'm not really sure what's going to unfold but I feel that they have so much to share and uh, so much to share personally with you to help align you more on your soul's path to bring forward clarity as to what your gifts are and how you can best develop them so you can do what your heart wants to do rather than what your mind may be directing or what you feel you have to do based on material or physical conditionings of of this world, of this life. Um, So let's get into a nice comfortable space. If it's safe to do so, if you're not driving... If you're somewhere comfortable, somewhere quiet, I invite you now just to close your eyes and just to breathe. Taking a long, deep breath into your belly and then breathing out. Breathing into this moment. And breathing out anything from your day, any events, letting them go. Breathing in, arriving, being here in this moment, and letting go. And just feel your awareness, feel yourself in your body, your beautiful body. Feeling a cord of light connecting you down to Mother Earth below. Connecting to her heart, to her very core. And then also an anchoring cord going all the way up from your heart, up into the sun and then the central sun connecting to all of creation. Coming into your sacred space, that which is you, your higher expanded self, where nothing can ever harm you or touch you without your say-so. This is your safe space. And into this space, we invite in your personal unicorn guides, of which you have at least one maybe two, maybe a whole team that work with you. Inviting in their consciousness, their presence to be with you now. And 
with the unicorns often come the fairies, the nature spirits of the earth and the air. So you might feel their their gaiety, their laughter as they come and play. I'm feeling them very much around my head. They love to play with my hair. So just welcoming in their joy into wherever you are listening to this, either live or as a podcast. Breathing in their energy. Breathing out, feeling your heart open. Front and back to all that's here for you and all that will unfold over the next hour. And we call forward to be with us also the beautiful Elohim, the expanded part of my consciousness as well as many of your con- of your consciousness too. Beautiful creator angels to come forward and to hold space for this show so that everything that comes to us and through us is always of the purest and highest tension for our, our best good at this time. Thank you and so it is. So beautiful souls, I hope you're feeling good and in your heart, I definitely am feeling it and I'm feeling the fairies and the unicorns very much around. And any time they're with me, I always tend to just laugh. Um, they bring such a lightness, such a carefree uh, energy. And they can be very powerful too and very forthright. And sometimes working with your unicorn guys, you can feel like you're getting just a kick up the backside <laughs> because they really do help to move you onto your soul's path, especially if you've strayed for whatever reason. Um, so who are the unicorns? Have you worked with them before? I know that some of you who are listening tonight are uh, some of my students and some of the practitioners from the Unicorn Healing Course, so welcome. And some of you may be completely new to working with the unicorns. Maybe you're on the fence. Whether you believe in their existence or not, you may think that they're just an archetype or um, you may believe in them. You may have had experiences of them. What I'm finding is, especially through the emails that I receive, Anytime I talk about unicorns on the Facebook Ascension page, I seem to get a lot of emails from people saying that they have been uh, f- uh, seeing the unicorns in their dreams. They're they're having very realistic dreams where they're speaking to unicorns and they're receiving guidance from them, or they'll just see signs out and about, pictures of unicorns, or. Um, just little signs, signs of rainbows, just feeling their energy all around. And that's not by coincidence. They're very much here to help cater and guide us into the Aquarian Golden Age. Um, Very much alongside the angelics and the ascended masters. But the unicorns have a very specific role. They don't work... um, They don't work to open up our hearts. They don't work to um, take us from the path of duality into oneness like the angels and the ascended masters do. They're very much here to help us remember what our soul is, what our soul group is, our monad, what our soul's purpose is, and what our gifts are, and to really open up that facet. Um, a couple of shows back, I was talking about how when we become aware, when we become aware of who we are and our, our higher purpose, it's like digging ourselves out of a coal mine, only to discover that we are a diamond. And we look at the many facets of who we are, the many facets of our diamond. And this is what the unicorns help us to do. They bring us such clear clarity as to who we are at our core and what our gifts are and how we can best share those gifts in the world to serve humanity, to raise consciousness. And over the last couple of days, I've really felt them much more come into the earth plane um, because they don't they don't exist physically uh, on the earth plane they come from a star system very near Sirius um, a beautiful star constellation 
and they do have uh, etheric retreats here on earth often you can find um, the energy of unicorns and if you're clairvoyant or clairsentient you'll either feel or you'll see them in birch forests uh, birch tree forests or copper beech tree forests they like to hang out there they've got a very um, close affinity with these trees which I'll talk about uh, later on but they have been more and more physically on the earth last week due to the three cosmic events that happened, the spring equinox, the super moon, the new moon that we had in Pisces, and the partial, or to some people, we had it here in Scotland, the total solar. And these three cosmic events will mean different things for different people, but the way that they bring it forward for me and uh, here I'm sharing it is that Mother Earth has once more upgraded her collective consciousness and as a result many of us who are in tandem with the Earth who are ascending through the pathway that's linked with Mother Earth which is myself and I know many of you included will be feeling the shifts and maybe you're feeling like time is just passing through your fingers like quicksand and you don't know if you're coming or going you don't know what feels real you you don't know what feels illusionary you're kind of in that in between no man's land where your consciousness itself is upgrading but just hold on hold on in there because the energy will settle and for the next hour you will be held in a complete grace with the unicorns who come forward to help stabilize those changes as you continue to evolve, as you continue to shine and buff your beautiful diamond self to recognize all your gifts and to recognize your path. So I'll share a little bit first about how I got to know of the unicorns. Um... When I was a young child, I very much was open to working with the elementals, the nature spirits, but I never encountered the unicorns who often present when uh, you're sensitive to the elementals, to the guardians of the earth. So it really wasn't until, I think, 2008 when I saw my first unicorn. And at that time, I had left my biotechnology biotechnology I'll just say biotech career I can never say that word um, I was working in cancer research and I'd set up a business making organic soaps and skincare products and maybe some of you have heard of that business it was called Kitty Soaps and it was one of the first we were one of the first companies to infuse the skincare with Reiki energy um, but I took that a little bit further I was guided to put into the specific products angelic frequencies uh, frequencies of some ascended masters of goddesses of deities and my complete brethren on so many levels the elementals and the customers, uh, they loved the soaps, they loved the products, and they would often say, I don't actually use them, I don't wash with them, um, I meditate with them. I have so much fun at meditating with them because I can really feel the energy that I, I dare not use them. And it, it just made me laugh. Um, but it's... But they were. They were sacred, beautiful products where we used to put in the energies of the fairies and the mermaids and the angels. And I knew that I wanted to create a unicorn soap. Out of nowhere, I just knew that, yeah, a unicorn soap, that should be the next product. So I found a unicorn-shaped soap mold. I sat down with... Uh, my guides at that time, my angelic guides, and I asked to know more about the unicorns and what I should put as the the essential oils that would symbolize their frequency and bring in their energy. 
And they said, you really have to speak to the unicorns. You've got to go direct to them. And I said, do they exist? And they went, of course they do. Um, you know, because at that time I was still fairly ignorant. I didn't believe, because I came from that science background, I didn't really believe in anything until I had the experience of it. And I'm still very much like this. Um, there's still a very big logical side of me, <laughs> corn side of me. Um, but I trusted and I, I sat down and I called upon the unicorns in meditation and immediately felt a blanket of peace wrap over me. And in my awareness, I could feel two unicorns approach. One was male and one felt female. And they asked me to breathe deeply, to align their consciousness with my own. And the more that I allowed this to happen, the more I saw their forms. And at that point, I wasn't clairvoyant, but I was clear cognizant, which means clear knowing. So I had the visual knowing in my, excuse me, in my mind of what they looked like. And they came forward as beautiful white horses with a golden shimmering horn of light coming out of their brow, very much what um, you may have seen in fairy tales. Um, and fairy tales truly are the remembrance of truth, um, slightly warped perhaps, but there's very much truth in fairy tales. Anyway, both of the unicorns touched and joined horns and as they touched and joined horns, they created this cascade of rainbow light that just flew all the way down me, through through my body. And it was so warm and gentle and loving. And it was cleansing me. It was cleansing right down through my tissues, through my organs, right down into my cells. And helping just to open me up to their energy, to their to their to who they were and they do this when you first start to work with the unicorns they will clear your energy field on all levels and that energy is intelligent Um, there's a system that we founded with my unicorn guys called unicorn healing and it's a hands-on system and for those of you who've done that system you'll know that you go through this series of initiations until you are yourself ready to then pass on the healing. And this is exactly what was happening to me. I didn't know that at the time. Um, But looking back, that's exactly what was happening. They were working to clear me energetically. And then their energy came into my heart chakra and it opened. And in this opening, I began to hear them. And they didn't speak through spoken words. It was just the speaking of the heart. And they told me who they were, their history, their roles, how they collectively aid humankind to create a better world. And the male unicorn, a beautiful, large Celtic being, he is so huge, um, huge big energy. He's right here with me now, called Hethgar. And he told me that he would work with me on a regular basis to first develop the soap, but he said our path, our path is so much greater than that, Callista. Together we're going to form a healing system, which over time has become the unicorn healing system. Um, But as ever, I still doubted as, you know, sometimes we can when we just start out. Even though I got it straight from the horse's mouth or straight from the unicorn's mouth, I still doubted what I had received. Because at that time, there was no teachers around me apart from these this beautiful ethereal beings. There's no physical teachers. I'd left my scientific job, which meant I'd left a lot of my friends. I'd left my fiancé. Um, I was very lonely in terms of physical friendships and relationships at that time energetically I was abundant with all these beautiful beings but the ego within still wanted clarification, still wanted more information so I sought out um, an energy healing system which was channeled by a man called Jay Burrell and when the teacher of that system sat down to attune me 
she she was perplexed and I asked her why and she said the unicorns didn't need to come forward to me because they told me Callista has already attuned herself and I just laughed when I heard this and it brought so many confirmations Um, it was just what I needed to hear so I thought okay I don't need any other systems I can just sit down I can go straight to Hethgar straight to the beautiful female guide that also came forward and just work with them and I did and together we put forward the unicorn healing system and they got me onto my soul's path which was to step away from Kitty Soaps um, and open up a holistic centre. Literally within, I don't know, maybe a couple of days after really letting this, letting the understanding, okay, my guys, my unicorns are truly here, they truly exist, right, I'm open, I'm receiving. Word of this competition came forward Um a Dragon's Den type of competition where you could win a shop for the year and all the bills would be paid for you. And it had, I think, a couple of days for the application process before it closed. And I literally heard off it through the unicorns. No joke. Um, And scrambled together everything that I needed to put forward my application. And when I went forward with uh, my proposal to this huge room of suited men (laughs) and I was talking to them about opening up a spiritual centre where I would teach people about unicorns and angels and Reiki and all this and at that time it was in a city that was not very developed spiritually whatsoever you know I didn't I didn't know that I would get it I, I really didn't know and I remember walking into the the building, it was a, a shopping mall, a shopping centre where the shop would be. And as I looked through the door, I just got told to look up and I looked up and it had the word unicorn. Um, I can't remember what in reference to, but it had the word unicorn. And I knew that they were with me. I knew that they were with me and they were directing this. And lo and behold, I won the competition and opened the shop and had the centre um, for a couple of years and taught many people there about the unicorns and initiated people into the system and created an awful lot of light for that city. Through me, you know, we brought forward so many beautiful people all guided from the unicorns, all guided from the angels and uh, this is what can happen. This magic happens and I see it time and time again when people come to join the system Uh, they will tell me how either they've been guided to work with them through their dream state or their meditation and lo and behold they just see the course or they get onto the course and then all these miracles happen, all these shifts and changes and they really come onto their their heart, their soul's path and it's, it's truly beautiful. So that's a little bit about my story. Uh... But who are the unicorns? Okay, so let's go back a little bit in time. Um, Time not really in a linear sense, because as we know in our path of ascension, time is more like a spiral, isn't it? Rather than starting from zero and then going to what it is now. But if we look back to the time of Atlantis, so if we look at linear time, it would it ended round about thirteen thousand BC and it spanned for two hundred and sixty thousand years. It was a huge era on Earth. Um a time of higher being and higher awareness for many of us. And we weren't all just earthbound. We we came from different star systems ourselves, different planets And who walked with us physically? Where are our angels? And where are the elementals? And this included the unicorns. They were physically manifest with us. And this is why we have the remembrance of them in our soul. This is why all those beautiful beings who wrote the fairy tales of the unicorns um, 
they knew exactly who they were. They've worked with them before. And, you know, looking back throughout the ages, there are pictures of horse-like beings with pointed spiral horns projecting from their foreheads from Greek natural history, from Indian medieval cultures, from the Bible. Um, You know, it's all there. But in the times of Atlantis, they were physically incarnate with us. But as Atlantis drew to a close, as mankind's vibration lowered, with it, the unicorns could not um, maintain their frequency because they have a very high frequency. They're roundabout, if we look at it in terms of uh, levels of consciousness, they're roundabout to the seventh to the ninth vibration of consciousness. Very, very high beings or ex- um, expanded beings of consciousness. Mankind living a physical life on earth can only go between the third and the fifth can't go beyond that in atlantis we were at the top end of that fifth dimensional frequency some of us more um but when you start becoming more evolved than that you you become translucent <laughs> you literally lose your physical body you, you go you're more into a light being um But what's happening now, our consciousness is coming up, it's raising, and we're getting to that fifth dimension. If it's not anchored in our physical reality, then we're reaching it when we do healings, we're reaching it when we meditate, when we make love, when we encounter beings, you know, friends, uh, lovers, family members who really are tuned in and tapped into who we are when we have that connection we're coming into that fifth dimensional reality and then we can perceive what is normally unseen around us we perceive the elementals the nature beings, we can feel the energy of the trees the energy that's in the water and the oceans of the earth and we also perceive the unicorns as they come forward So I would love to hear from you tonight. I'd love to receive... I'm just going to look at the studio and see if we have any calls. We we do. We have some calls. We've got some questions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up to any questions and invite you to call in. Uh, The best way to call in is through Skype and the number is there on the Blog Talk page. I'd love to know your experiences of the unicorns or do you have any questions about them? I'll talk a little bit about what they look like because there's been some questions regarding that um, and their colour. So a lot of unicorns will look uh, luminescent. They'll look very pure, almost as if they're glowing. And this is down to the radiance, the radiance that they vibrate at. So as we said, unicorns exist between the 7th and ninth dimensional frequency. And they continue to guide us that we can become, we can radiate and shine and glow as we evolve. And they bring forward the knowingness of how to do this. They bring forward... Um, ways for us to ascend. Unicorns often will have um, a coloured mane. Sometimes it's golden, sometimes it's pink, silver or rainbow. Uh, As the namesake, a unicorn, they have one single horn of spiralling light that comes out through the third eye, the centre of enlightenment, intuitive sight and perception. And this spiral creates a vortex which can be likened to a crystal wand for its ability to hold, emit and transmute energy. And it's a feminine symbol that demonstrates the enlightenment of the unicorn realm and the age that we're in, the age of the divine feminine. A unicorn's horn may appear silver, white or gold and as the unicorn itself evolves because they're on their own path, their radiance will continue to grow and glow. And a very evolved unicorn will have a beautiful, deep, 
golden energy, just like we can become golden. And in Atlantis, many of us did glow golden, hence why it's called the golden age. It is the highest frequency that we can call in, and it's often the ray of light, the ray of spiritual light that we will call in when we do our soul immersion journeys. Okay. Another question that came in is, have unicorns been horses? And yes, they have been. If you ever see, if you're ever blessed to see white horses, pure white physical horses on the earth, these animals, these beautiful souls will ascend into unicorns. They have that opportunity and some do, some take that path just like we have the opportunity to become an ascended master if we choose and on my way to the nearest city that we have and often we go into that city maybe once or twice a week, there is a a group of five white horses and they are so stunning and they're always so happy and so in their truth, so in their love. Um, and I know that when I look at them, I'm looking at a unicorn to be. That's that's the energy that they're going to transcend into. Okay. I think what we'll do, because there's questions coming in from the phone line, I'm going to go to a commercial break. And when we come back, we will do a soul immersion journey so you can attune to your own unicorn guide and then we'll answer some more questions. Okay, thank you. Hi, this is Callista and I'm excited to share with you that my online course, Unicorn Healing, has just two weeks left before enrollment closes for the year. Unicorn Healing is a heart-based hands-on energy system that brings about health, wellness and empowerment. It aims to give all concerned the knowingness of their life path and soul's purpose and the tools needed to fully rise up and shine. The unicorns are caretakers for the soul and are returning to our awareness to bring forward all it takes for humankind to ascend into the new golden age. You may have felt the presence of the unicorns in your dreams meditations or if out in nature and if so this course may fill in the gaps that now wish to be revealed for more information or to enroll visit www.etheriallight.co.uk or email me at callistaascension at gmail.com I look forward to supporting you into your highest and fullest soul's potential For powerful, on-purpose meditations, visit vibedeck.com slash Callista. Active energy journeys to empower prosperity, joy, wellness, and love to flow freely in your life. For online courses and personal sessions, visit facebook.com slash Callista Ascension. Be who you came here to be. Arise and shine. Welcome back to the Soul Ascension Show with me, your host, Callista. Having a very special hour here all about the unicorns and how we can work with them to best serve our path of joy, of love and ascension. And I'd like to go to a question now from Cindy in New Jersey. She says she's listened to a meditation but cannot connect with her unicorn. Can you offer any help? Cindy, I wonder if you're talking about the soul healing meditation that is on Vibe Deck. This is a really good journey to connect with your unicorns and mostly I've heard positive feedback from people connecting. So it's good to know that um, you're not you're not having this experience and we can talk a little bit about that um, because we're going to go into a journey to meet your unicorn guide into a tune. So perhaps in this space that we're about to open, whatever was blocking before will disappear will disappear and dissolve and you can really come into contact with your guide. 
um, each of us has our own guide, our own unicorn guide, just as we have angelic guides. And this aspect will reflect who your soul is. So your guide really reflects you. They hold up this beautiful mirror. Um, and in this way, you will recognize them. You'll recognize who they are, perhaps sensing them first as a familiar energy, like an old friend has returned into your life. Um, and when I first rec- when I first met Hethgar, when he came forward, I knew who he was. I couldn't I couldn't put it into words who he was. Um, it kind of goes beyond words. Trying to describe something energetic, it, it goes beyond words and intellect. But I just knew who he was. He was the aspect of part of my soul um, that I had lost or that I had forgotten about. And he was here to awaken. So sometimes it can be a journey rather than a destination to meet your guides. It it just takes practice and it takes allowance to open up to who they are. And in truth, your guides are just aspects of your higher self, of your multidimensional self, but they are beings in their own right. You know, the unicorns come from a star system. Uh, they're cosmic celestial beings that exist and have their own reality, but they choose to, from part of their service, to come down and to help humanity. Just as when we are in our dream state or meditation state, part of our higher consciousness can be in other realms and be connecting and supporting and doing different things. Um, There really is no time and space when we go beyond that duality, that polarity. There is just the oneness. Um, So, Cindy, I hope that you will meet your guide on the journey that we're about to do. If not... Um, Just type your question in or speak to Greg um, and maybe I can talk live on air and we can work through whatever is coming up. Okay, so we'll now go into our soul immersion journey to attune you to your own unicorn guide, which may be one, maybe two, maybe a whole collective consciousness that may come forward. And just know that you deserve this connection. And when you first start to align to the unicorns, you will receive their energetic virtues that you can imprint, merge into and then embody. So in the attunement, you will receive these virtues, these gifts and anything else that your soul needs to recognize or receive at this time. So beginning now to settle yourself to come into this Closing your eyes. Taking a deep breath into your being. And breathing out. Breathing in the fullness, the lightness that's all around. And letting go. One last time. Breathing in. And breathing out. Letting go. And just noticing any signs. Any feelings that are with you right now. Noticing how you feel in your body. How you feel in your mind. And deciding to let go of anything that doesn't serve. that would otherwise hamper you from being here fully present, fully aware, letting it go. Shedding all energies of your day, 
any interactions with others on all levels. Anything yet to do, just melt away, let it go. This is your time to receive. Your time to come into your soul. The part of you that's one with the divine, with the source, with God. The untouchable, pure, innocent, beautiful, radiant part of you that knows all, that is all. Merge into your soul as you breathe, as you allow. And we call forward and invoke the golden light of the divine of source to flow down and wrap around your body now as a beautiful golden halo of light. And seeing and feeling this golden light above you, the top of your head. Consciously bring down the golden light with each breath as it enters through the top of your head. Feeling its warm, comforting glow. Moving through your third eye. Your face, your throat, your shoulders. Easing down your arms like liquid gold to the tips of your fingers. And out the tips of your fingers. Feeling the golden light wash over you and in you through your chest, stomach, hips, pelvis, legs, knees, ankles, to the tips of your toes, soft, warm, healing golden light in every part of you flowing now being absorbed into your cells, your cells drinking up this energy, breathing it in and breathing it out around you, creating an arc of golden light around your aura, light body. until every part of you is immersed and here we ask under the law of grace for anything that's not of divine love in your energy, your perceptions, your beliefs to now be cleared to now be given to source transmuted on all levels thank you and so it is <sighs> breathing out letting go and we're now going to call forward and invoke your own unicorn guide to come forward to come to the edge of your golden halo of light that surrounds your body to stand in front of you or maybe if there's more at the sides or around you in a circle unicorns, your guides, these majestic beings so pure, so vibrant, they come forward now. And just focus on one 
There's only one. Just focus on your beautiful guide. And don't strain to see or feel them. Just know of their presence. Open your heart to them. And as they look to you, they recognize you. They see the self within the soul. They see your beauty, your gifts, your knowing, your wisdom. They love you, they respect you. And they're here today to attune you to their vibration. So that for this from this point forward you are forever linked with them. And may channel their energy for the highest good of all. And saying an internal yes, if you would like to receive their attunement. Saying that yes, invites them gently and lovingly into your space as they move through the golden light. They come closer. You feel their warmth their love and it's okay if you wish to hug them to touch them your beautiful unicorn guide now tilts his head downwards so his horn his beautiful golden horn of light Shines down now to your third eye chakra. And a cascade of light now flows out of the end of the horn into your third eye. Gently and lovingly opening up your spiritual gifts of clairvoyance. So that you can see them in their fullness so that you can see your soul's path and gain more clarity as to who you are where you came from what your purpose is this knowing is being downloaded into you now for the highest good fall Breathing in, breathing out. And your guide now does the same into your heart chakra, tilting his head even more, directing this light within your heart. And as you breathe in and merge with all that you are, Your unicorn now bestows their virtues of compassion, divine love, majesty, trust, innocence, joy, and unity, oneness, consciousness. On all levels. Just breathing in their virtues, their gifts. As they hold space for you to merge on all levels with them. And I'll leave you here for a few moments to speak with your unicorn to perhaps ask for guidance on your soul's path at this time for clarity, for the knowingness enjoy this time, this connection
And we guide that everything is always within you. You are your own creator and you hold the keys to crafting a life and experience that best serves your joy and your bliss. You have that within you at all times. You are your own masterpiece. And your guide will continue to be with you to help you to see this, to feel this, to help you to rise up and shine and be who you came here to be. Giving thanks to your guide. I'm just going to ask them to step back now. Taking a big breath in. Beginning to gently wake yourself back into this moment. Wiggling your toes and your fingers. As we close that journey. And if you'd like to continue that journey more, then if you go to vibedeck.com forward slash Callista, there is a soul healing meditation with your guardian unicorn that's much longer, um, that goes into different healing for different parts of you. And it's it's a wonderful journey. So that's there, that's available. And also, if you want to know more about the unicorn healing course, then we have, what do we have? Six days before enrollment will close for this year, for the whole of 2015. And we've only got six more days left. So if you would like to know more about that, I'm going to be available this week for Skype meetups because I I believe in that personal meeting before we, we go forward and do the six-month journey of the course together where you'll work very closely with your unicorn Um with your soul, um, we do a lot of a, a lot of clearing, a lot of um, journeying within that program, and you do what's called a thirty day sadhana practice. Sadhana just means spiritual daily practice. You do thirty days consecutive days of attuning and working with your unicorns, and it's an an amazing time, and it's such a privilege for me to read how the practitioners have developed from day one to day 30. It's truly blissful. Um, But anyway, we only have a couple of minutes left and I want to get to some questions. So I'm just going to look to see if there's any more. Uh, Cindy from New Jersey, hopefully you connected with your unicorn there. If you did, let me know. If you've you've got more questions, again, I'm here for you. Uh, Cheryl from East Sussex asks, how do we connect with these beautiful beings? Well, hopefully you connected with them right then, Cheryl. Um, but there are tools, there are very a lot of tools for connecting to the unicorns. Uh, the best one I could say is just simply asking them to come forward and to be with you in meditation or in silent contemplation when you're outside in nature, especially when you're in uh, the vicinity of birch trees or copper beech trees. Um, Now, birch trees, I was out in my garden today. We're lucky to have some here. I'm sure luck, there's no luck in it, actually. I'm sure it's just a consequence of working with the unicorns that we align to um, our house with a garden of birch trees. But birch trees and Celtic lore um, symbolize new beginnings and renewed energy. They help us to put the past behind and to live in grace in the present moment. And that's exactly what the unicorns do. And those that are born under the Birch astrology sign, namely from December 24th to January 20th, will resonate well with the unicorns and will carry themselves 
with the same poise and grace and beauty. And they may also be very spiritually aware and sensitive to the elementals, to the nature kingdom as well. Another way to connect with the unicorns is to work with crystals that carry the same frequency as them. And these would be snow quartz, optical calcite, apophyllite, green moss agate, larimar, iolite and seraphonite. These are all excellent for strengthening the bond with your soul and with the unicorns. And these crystals are very high vibrational and they will bring forward a great deal of trust and faith and a bridge from physical to non-physical realms of creation, just like the unicorns do. Uh, They're great ambassadors, uh, great gateway holders for connecting to different realms. Another way that can help you to connect to the unicorns is to simply have fun. Um, The more that you can take yourself lightly, the higher and more expansive your vibration will become. And those who are part of the Unicorn Healing uh, online course know this very well because working with your Unicorn Guide, you become very creative. Um, And I think it heals as well a lot of rifts with our inner child. Um, Also, it brings in a lot of innocence, a lot of joy that maybe we had as our youth that brings back that brings back the fun what might what makes life fun um and the unicorns often ask us do we include time for fun in our lives how can we include fun in a, in our daily lives what makes our heart sing what makes our soul sing they'll they'll ask us these questions in order for us to align um And there's many other ways which uh, we can go into, maybe on another show. Uh, Eagle, Eagle, I I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, from Lithuania asks, she's looking for guidance on what her soul's purpose is. Um, What are my innate spiritual gifts and how to develop them? Oh, that's a huge question and definitely one for another show. Um, But the unicorns are brilliant at developing your spiritual gifts. I would say much more than angels or ascended masters. Unicorns really delight and have... um, get so much joy from developing your spiritual gifts which you will have we all have our own unique gifts sometimes we're here as teachers or um, we're here in service to the earth to better humanity what am I getting from you it's very much environmental that's coming forward I really feel your path of ascension is linked with mother earth as well and um we will do a show. The unicorns are saying we should do a show all about developing your spiritual gifts. Okay, brilliant. We will do that. So thank you for your question. Um, Ken Winter Maiden, what a beautiful name, <laughs> shares she would like some guidance as well on her path and purpose, please. She's feeling a bit aimless, that I'm always searching for it instead of knowing what it is. And again, the unicorns will say to us, we just need to sidestep and stop trying to become someone and something. Rather, see ourselves as the magnificent creator, vast multidimensional beings that we are, that we are God incarnate. How can we be anything less than that? Um, So they're saying to me to stop searching. Stop searching for things outside yourself, Ken, and... Come into yourself more, meditate more, get out in nature, ask your unicorns to come forward and to commune with you and to really um, bring forward practical ways for and, and clear knowing of what your path and purpose is. Um, if you want to know more about joining the course, we definitely go into this in great detail. But we're coming to the end of the, the show, so I just want to say... Um, love and blessings thank you for being here for having this special hour with me and the unicorns i can't believe an hour has passed so so quickly if you want to know more come forward onto the facebook page callista ascension or uh you can contact me 
on callistaascension at gmail.com as well. But for now, love and blessings and thank you for listening to the show. You have been listening to The Soul Ascension Show with your host, Callista. Come join our community page at facebook.com forward slash Callista Ascension. Share your feedback to support others to rise up and shine. Be inspired. Be creative. Be your radiant self. All is here for you.